it. Rick, I heard what you said, but we don't have another doctor. Bobby, then stop asking me, all right? But I thought when you realized that we don't have another cardiac surgeon, you have to perform the surgery. I made it very clear I can't perform surgery today. But Cunningham's sick. Monica's not here yet. You don't have any choice. There's nobody else. What are you two doing down here? The patient's prepping on his way to surgery. You should be out there. What's, What's wrong? wrong? What's the problem? I wish I knew. Excuse me. I don't know. I went up to OR to scrape scenes. We don't have a doctor to do an operation. Bobby, I made it very clear. I am unable to do surgery today. Why not? We discuss this in private, please. I think we'd better. What about the patient? He's taking a turn for the worse, arrhythmia. I'll explain after the surgery. Uh, are you sure you're up to it? I'm gonna have to be up to it, all right. <laughs> Be fine. Rick, I've assisted you in surgery many times. I've never known you to be reluctant to operate. It's a little different today, Bobby. Is there something unusual about the patient? No. Is the procedure difficult? Yes, I have done it many times before. That is not the problem. And what is? I'm just not well today. That's all. Is it serious? Not as serious as this man's, and this man's problem won't wait. Let's do it. Scalpel. Any problems? Just Rick. What do you mean? Well, something's wrong. He did his usual fine job, but he was acting very strange. Sushi. Oh, uh, why? Did he say anything? No. But he was very shaky. He had to stop a few times to catch his breath. Is he sick? Look, I really don't think this is the place to have a little chat. I mean, Bobby, I would like to get this patient closed up and get him to see ICU as fast as possible. Yes, okay. doctor. All right. Certainly. The angiogram confirmed it. I have a tumor in my heart. Oh, Rick. I, I don't know what to say. Well, you could say that tomorrow morning I'll wake up and I won't have it, and then I'll be fine. I wish you could. Well, now I'm sure you realize why I was reluctant to operate anymore. Yes, yes. Although this sort of problem wouldn't necessarily impair your ability to function in OR. Unless the severe pains I've been having recur while I'm in surgery, combined with the tremendous anxiety feelings I've been having. Oh. Yes, I can imagine. I wanted to tell you before, Steve, I just didn't want it getting all over the hospital. I understand. How's Leslie taking it? She doesn't know. Don't you think you ought to tell her? Well, at first I thought that if the angiogram confirmed it, then I would go ahead and have surgery while she was gone. I didn't love thinking about that. I think I, I would have been very unfair. I'll tell her now. Have you scheduled your surgery yet? No, I'm waiting until Leslie gets home. Well, Rick, is there anything I can do? I'll need a leave of absence at least from surgery. Of course, of course. But you can't continue treating the patients you now have. Oh, yes. As long as I don't get worse. Well, let's just pray that doesn't happen. But please, don't put off the surgery. As soon as Leslie returns, get it over with. I intend to. I think the difficult part is going to be just telling Leslie. I expect to find you. Oh, oh hi. Monica, hi. 
Um, are you all right? I'm fine, fine. Good. Thanks for helping me this morning. Listen, you, you did all the work. Um, you okay, is it? Yeah, yeah, I've had a good day. Had a nice talk with Steve, and I've seen a few patients, and now I'm on my way home. I'm taking it easy. Yeah, I'm gonna get as much rest as I can. Good, listen, um, if you, if you need anything at all, please feel free. Of course I will. Thank you very much. Okay. What was that all about? Well, um, uh, well, it's just a little bit under the weather, that's all. <laughs>